Hello Zebraherd! Wave 5 of the Booster Course Pass in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is finally here! As well as three brand new characters! Today we'll be playing through the Feather Cup as Kamek, which includes Athens Dash, Daisy Cruiser, Moonview Highway, and Squeaky Clean Sprint. Let's get started! So as you can see, there are three brand new characters here. We have Petey Piranha, Wiggler, and Kamek. I wanted to start with Kamek because out of the three, it's the one I'm the most excited for. This character has been trying to make his way into Mario Kart in one way or another for a long time. Of course, uh, I think back on Mario Kart 64, Kamek was almost a character, but didn't quite make the cut. But here he is in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe for the Booster Course Pass. That is so cool. So we'll select you. I think that he has been in Mario Kart Tour now, which is pretty cool. I mean, a lot of people sort of seem to debate on if Mario Kart Tour is a mainline Mario Kart game, but regardless, I think it's just cool to see him on a home console Mario Kart game, if not anything else. But we'll just go ahead and get like a cool setup for him. I don't want to do anything too crazy for this first one. We can always, you know, mix it up a little bit later. So I'll just do a classic setup that I'm pretty used to. I love that light blue coloring for him. And of course, our, uh, that we're going to be checking out today should be the Feather Cup right over here, which includes Athens Dash, Daisy Cruiser, Moonview Highway, and Squeaky Clean Sprint. So some really cool courses here. Let's go take a look. All right, so we're starting here with the Feather Cup in Athens Dash, which is from Mario Kart Tour, another real life city based one. This one is so cool. Whoa, I love the details to this. I have not even seen this one in Mario Kart Tour before. But oh man, it definitely has a different vibe than the other city courses because it's more of an ancient city. So cool, we got these giant, giant golden statues here. Oh man, everybody cheering us on from the side. Look at the view from up here, so this is amazing. So hopefully we can get a win here. We're catching up with Kamek. Come on, come on. Watch out Daisy, here I come. This is such a cool track. We're with the Coliseum here. This is amazing. All right. Get some coins, get this banana out. I love Kamek doing little dis magical spells on his jumps. Ooh, we got Daisy really good there. Gliding up this way into a cave. It's kind of a uh, forgotten relics down here or something like that. Oh, it has the Mario Kart Wii little trick jumps. I like how they've sort of kept those around. They didn't just use this for the Wii tracks. Huge explosion back there. And this is one of those ones where I guess maybe it's sort of like a totally different laugh every time. Music is so cool too. Oof, gotta avoid that a little bit. So maybe we've been here before because there, there are some bananas on the floor over there, but it doesn't look familiar. Heading up this sand covered sta staircase. Oh no, oh I hit the wall pretty hard. It's hard to race these tracks at first because I just, I haven't raced them before, so I don't know where I'm going, but I took a shortcut in the middle. That was actually really cool. So I think that'll just keep ahead a little bit here as we head into our third and final lap. This one's looking a little bit more familiar to the first lap. Okay, put that banana down, get a double item block. Now we're going more into the sort of the city part of it. So cool. And I do have a blue shell blaster just in case I need it, which I have a feeling that if anything's gonna hit us here, it's definitely gonna be a blue shell. Ooh, come on, come on. Got it. Oh no, ooh. Here come the rocks too, gotta dodge those. Looks like we're making our way up some kind of hill here. Oh, I know where we are now. So we sort of came out from the other side. Ooh, we're moving so quick. <laughs> now I'm bumping into this stuff. I think we're in the clear though. We have a super huge lead on everybody and we're gonna get the win with that. So that was an excellent start here with Kamek in the Feather Cup. Awesome. Really cool track to start it off with too. Whoa, so now we have Daisy Cruiser from of course Mario Kart Double Dash a game we played, I think, last year, the year before, something like that. The time flies while oh, we're having fun playing Mario Kart. So this looks really great. Definitely has that bright aesthetic that we had from the original course. Unfortunately, we don't have little partners in the back of our cart to help us out this time, but that's okay. I think we'll be able to make our way through. So I do remember there being some pretty cool shortcuts with this. We have to avoid, whoa, the Goombas if we had the chance. There we go, there we go, ooh. Good red shell hit, Bowser Jr. is trying to catch up to us, but we'll be able to keep out of that without too much of an issue. Yeah, this is where the boat is swaying, so all of the, the, the people at the tables, oh yeah, you can fall down here. 
There was like a sunken part of the ship. I'm sort of falling all over the place. Oh man, okay. And we're back up here. I think we're about to complete our first lap. It's sort of a shorter track. Yeah, here we go. So we took the right side last time, I think. Let's try to go to the left. That's what's sort of fun about this track is that while it is shorter, there's clearly like multiple ways to go. I can hop down here into the pool where all those Goombas are having fun. Drift like that, oh, getting struck by lightning is not so good. Daisy is on our tails at the moment, so. Let's just keep going. I love all the, the Yoshis and the Shy Guys and the Toads at the table. Hope they're not getting seasick. So we took that way before. I wanna go down here this time. Got it, so above the water isn't too crazy. We would've just popped out of that yellow pipe we just passed before, so. I definitely like hopping down into the water a bit more just because it's a little bit more interesting, but I did like this left path a bit better. On the metal and everything, oh no, that, that's yeah, definitely gonna get me, but we keep moving because I can jump off of all that. And I think that makes it sort of a better path to go. I'm gonna get some extra coins, but of course the blue shell is gonna get me. Maybe it can also get Daisy, nope. Okay, this is not a good sign. We're gonna really try to catch up them. Luigi is even, are you kidding me? Oh no, oh no, not good. And I only get a measly little banana to help me catch up. Okay, this is not ideal at the moment. I don't think there's really too much more I can do here. I'm in second place, battling for third. Actually, maybe I can catch up. Okay, Luigi, did you really have to do that? Uh, looks like, oh, I hit Daisy with that banana, so we'll be able to steal a second. Oh my gosh, Luigi gets to win by the end of it, but that was so tough. All right, that was a tough one for sure, but we can move to the next race. Ooh, this one is from Mario Kart Wii. It's Moonview Highway. This is definitely a really cool course from Mario Kart Wii. Honestly, one that I don't remember too much. I don't think it's really been in too many of the Mario Kart games after Mario Kart Wii, so it's definitely a little bit more distant in my memory. There we go, got a little speed boost, but not the, the most amazing start ever. Oh, the music here is so exciting. <laughs> Definitely, I remember this song being really cool. Watch out for the bob -omb car, whoa. It's nighttime, the roads are still super populated, all the lights are on, all the city lights and stuff. Oh wow, it looks so cool. Here, I'm going to yeah, go through this one. There's a lot of speed boosts that you can hit on this track. I do remember that. Trying to hit all of them will take a little bit of memorization on just like where they're all laid out, but hopefully we can hit them all. And yes, still get some drift boost. Maybe, ah, oh, jump off that. I was hoping I could, but not quite. The first lap is all finished up though. So far these tracks have been a bit short. This is an exciting one no matter what though, so appreciate that. Okay. Wanna be careful yet not to hit any of the oncoming traffic as we drive on the wrong side of the road. Okay, ooh, got the really good double item. I think we're making a lot of good moves here, but unfortunately, a blue shell is gonna try to get me, and it will. Yikes. They'll catch up a little bit, but we still have a bit of a lead, so as long as we don't get hit by anything more until I can get some defenses up. It doesn't seem like there's any kind of major shortcut for this track. Looks like it's all pretty simple. Just gotta keep those turns close. Also don't hit any obstacles. The bob -omb cars are always so scary. I just don't wanna run into those. Just a little bit more. This is the last lap. We got a second place finish last time, but we can at least keep ahead of points if we can win this one. Okay, here comes a red shell, but I'm prepared for that one. We get a couple of extra coins too. Here we go, this we're gonna make a move. Ah, no, I ran into the bob -omb. Okay, I get triple bananas and I accidentally threw one. There we go, I got rid of it. I'm a little scared here, but we're just gonna keep going. Oh, here comes another one. No, no, no. Oh, I think I was able to make it hit the, the sort of the middle part of that. And boom, we win. <laughs> Crazy race, they were trying to catch up, but I wasn't gonna let it happen. Daisy fell really far behind that time. She was in 10th place, which is really gonna shake up the positionings of everybody. I wanna keep a pretty firm first place finish here, and we're moving on to the next one. So our last course of the Feather Cup is Squeaky Clean Sprint. I don't know why that's such a tongue twister, but this is actually a totally new course. Um, as of this DLC, Wave 5, it looks so cool. This is a giant bathroom that's all Mario themed. There's so many details here. This is crazy, actually. 
I love the, the, the shower curtain there with the superstars. We're going into the sink. There's a leaky faucet. This is so cool. Whoa. Big boom box with the, the record tapes or whatever they are, the cassette tapes, I think. All right. Uh, oh, and it's like upward streams. We go into the, the toilet here, I guess. Not the, toilet, the, the tub. Okay. We're going into the pipes. There's just so much going on. This is such a creative track already. Yeah, I'll go this way. I guess people lost a bunch of jewelry down here. <laughs> That's not good. And we're out on this side. Cool. Oh, we can take the super jump over here if we needed to. I don't know if that really helped too much, but I can hit Daisy with a green shell. There we go, and we're flying above the toilet. Don't fall in! Oh no, I thought I was gonna fall in with that. <laughs> that would not have been good. That would've been very stinky. All right. Gonna drift through the towels here under the sink. This is such a cool track. Was that toad themed shaving cream? Did the toads need to shave often? Okay, never mind. I don't wanna know the answer. <laughs> Alright, keep drifting. We're fighting for first place with Bowser Jr. at the moment. Back into the tub. I love the rubber ducky with the little Mario hat on. That's so cute. Bowser Jr. is really keeping ahead of us here as we get sucked back down the drain. I got triple green shell though, so if I can get into a good position, I can definitely out knock him out. Well, never mind now. But the lightning strike also affects him. I get some easy mushrooms. Nice. Everything's all soapy and sudsy over here. That fan really blows you back. Good to know. Whoa, what is going on with the toilet? Somebody call a plumber. Where's Mario? He's too busy racing. He's supposed to fix the toilet. He's the plumber. All right, well. Actually, is he even in this race? I don't think he is. Well, maybe he's actually on the way to fix the leak. All right, this is the last lap right now. But Bowser Jr. is back ahead of us. I'm just taking in all the details here. I didn't get to go on the sponge there. I don't know if that would have been any faster. But back down the drain we go. I'm dodging a green shell. I was hoping to do a little trick off of that. Luigi, what are you doing? Get out of here. Ooh, definitely grab that mushroom. If not anything else, to prevent other people from getting it. I love the, the sort of the mechanical cheap cheap over there. Okay, the fan sort of blows us over this way anyway, so we might as well do that to get double items. Throw a bob on backwards, that's gonna be huge, knocking Daisy back. Okay, here's our chance, we got the last stretch here. Whoa, we can go up there, I didn't see that before, so I didn't really have the good angle for it. So we'll have to keep that in mind for the next time we race through this which will be later today. But there we go, what an amazing track. That might actually be one of my most favorite new courses of this entire DLC, not just week five, but of like all of it so far, that was amazing. So many cool details, such a fun track design. Let's see our results for our first round run through here of the Feather Cup. All right, so some good racing with Kamek there at 150cc here in the Feather Cup. We got hit by red shells, blue shells, and everything else in between, but we found a way to win the majority of them. We got three wins and then one second place finish. So I don't think it'll be a three-star victory, but overall, that's still really good. That should definitely be a solid trophy for us, if not anything else, which right now, I'm just sort of chasing those golden trophies. So the golden trophy for 150cc on the Feather Cup with two stars, I'll take that for sure. Maybe at some other point in time, we can go and make sure we have all the perfect scores for everything. But for right now, with that done, I figure we're hopping right back in. We're gonna keep it going with Kamek. We're gonna be playing as Wiggler and PD Piranha in the next episode with the next cup. But I figure now, we'll just do Mirror Cup. Uh, with the same setup, we'll be able to get a different perspective on everything. I might wanna change the cart and everything. We'll see if there's anything more maybe like magical for Kamek to ride on. I'm not really sure if there is, but. There's gotta be something that might be a little bit more fitting to his aesthetic. Maybe just a clown car? Clown car is pretty cool. I feel like there was a Kamek bike in Mario Kart Wii, but clearly that's not here. So I think we will go with the clown car. And then, what kind of tires? Do we just want normal tires? Anything cool here? Maybe Bowser, you know, he is one of Bowser's sort of main henchmen. Let's go with that then. Clown car, Bowser glider, Back to the Feather Cup, but this time in mirror mode. So back to Athens Dash. This was also a really cool course. I mean, they were all amazing. I'm really impressed with this cup. It was really fun. But uh, this was definitely a good one. This might be one of my favorite city-based courses from Mario Kart Tour so far. All right, so we're going back at it. We won here last time. Can we get another victory? 
Mirror mode is definitely a bit more of a challenge, but now that we've raced through it once, I would love to hear what are your thoughts on this Wave 5 um, cup that we have here, the Feather Cup, and along with it, what are your thoughts on Kamek? I think Kamek's super cute. Uh, I think it's a really fun addition to the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe roster. It's a character that I always love to see pop up in all these kind of like, you know, Mario side games. So I feel like, you know, he has such a, you know, big story or sort of like big, I guess like participation in a lot of the Mario stories, you know, Kamek pops up as like a character to fight quite often. So to see him in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe feels pretty fitting to me for sure. And like I've said, since he's had history of sort of almost being added to Mario Kart games previously, but not quite making the cut, I feel like it's just really nice to see him here. Oh, we're gonna get hit by a blue shell again, unfortunate, but not much I can do. But I definitely think he looks great in this game, so I'm happy to see it. And like I said, next episode, we'll be checking out the next cup, as well as the two other new characters that were added in this wave. This wave had three new characters, but the last one was just Berta. This one had three. So when it comes to value, this one is really stepping up for sure. So I'll have to sort of wait and see how many characters are added in the next wave. Oh no, I'm getting knocked off to the side here. That was not what I wanted. Heading into the last lap too, so maybe not the best timing for that. Bowser Jr. once again trying to race me here. All right, buddy, I'm a little too focused on beating Luigi way up this way. I do get a mushroom, but unfortunately that mushroom is not gonna help me too much. Oh my gosh, I feel like we're getting knocked all over the place. Maybe not as big of a fan of the clown car as I was just the normal one. Okay, come on, we gotta catch up a little bit. Oh, it's actually baby Luigi in front of us. Okay. Oh, is there, ooh, cool shortcut over this way. Unfortunately, sort of a little messy going through it. I hit. Baby Luigi with that one. Okay, so I think I'll just hold on to the red shell. We'll get through this. Again, bounce around like crazy again, but I should be able to make it through the finish line in first place. So that's great. That was a close one for sure. We weren't in first for most of that race, but we found a way to catch up in the end. Okay, round two is gonna be Daisy Cruiser. This one is not really gonna be all that much different to be honest. It was a pretty symmetrical track before. It's just some of the features were on one side other than the other. I really preferred the metal side a little bit more. I just feel like the angling helped out a lot more. So I'll be trying for that. But I don't think we missed any shortcuts or anything like that here with Kamek. Okay, definitely gonna try to hit you. Didn't quite work out. I don't know if this was the same music as what was originally in this course the double tap version. It doesn't feel like it, but maybe it was. I thought they might've just reused some beach themed music from another course in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. <laughs> might be the case, who knows. But either way, even if there are little things like that, I feel like overall this is a super impressive wave for the DLC, which is good to know because there's only one more wave after this, which is a little sad to think about. But it seems like it's getting better with each one, you know? Okay, ooh, at the moment I get that red shell, Boo takes it, which is not because I'm trying to catch up that. Are you serious? I got so close to hitting Animal Crossing Villager, and instead it gets me. Now I'm falling really behind. We're back and forth, but we can catch back up for sure. I'm gonna take this drift, just like that. I actually, I was gonna try to avoid going under the water. I don't mind it too much, but once again, the angling is a little bit difficult to keep up with at times. I turned the wrong way. Ooh, okay. Let's get back out ahead. I'm in first place now. So if I can just keep this, if they try to thwart me with a blue shell, I should be able to make something happen. All right, got it. Cool. This is feeling pretty good. Got a really good drift there. Gonna cut through this corner. And then I wanna turn this, yes, yeah, super early. I think this is just better than going under, and I don't think a lot of the computer players really, maybe it isn't better. Oh wait, no, I guess maybe they do go under. Okay, baby Luigi, are you serious with the really, really well-placed banana? Who's, come on, are you serious? No way, right at the end, I'm getting bombarded by items. I'm gonna get fifth place. Oh, that stinks. Yeah, I'm not really sure if this cart's working out for me too well, but, that really sets me back. I'm only one point behind baby Luigi here, so we're not like too ruined, but it's not easy so far. Let's go for the next race. Okay, Moonview Highway is our third track. 
I think we can win this one. I really hope so, because I really don't want Baby Luigi beating us like that. We were so close to getting the win there, and then he just sort of ruined everything. So I got fire in my veins right now. I really want to make sure we get a good win. Very focused on making sure these turns turn out okay, though. Okay, so yeah, let's grab a coin like that. Keep it moving. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Got it. Extra coin over here. Now I'm at the 10 coins. I really don't need any more. So yeah, give me anything else. We actually got a pretty cool setup here. And we're taking a huge lead in front of everybody at the moment, which I feel like happened last time too. We got a pretty solid lead. Don't know why that happens on this track so easily, but here if I just hug this corner, I was hoping that would uh, hit the red shell. Didn't quite work. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Well, it just depends on the angling, but it's okay because we still have, once again, a gigantic lead. Blooper's gonna try it again here, but it immediately just gets blown away. Okay, I don't know if I should have done that. Probably should have kept that for the blue shell, but it is what it is. I mean, we still have such a lead at the moment that we'd probably have to get hit by like another red shell and then another blue shell for them to even get close to catching up. Okay. Okay, that didn't work out the way I thought it would. Never mind. Come on, come on, come on. A little bit scared about that bob bomb. Here comes that blue shell. I do see it. I'm getting hit by a lightning too. They really are trying to throw everything they have at us. Ooh, get hit pretty hard by all that, but I do think we can keep it going. Because we're coming across the finish line here. I'm a little bit worried because they're getting bullet bills and stuff back there. I see them. I love all the signs here. I wish I could sort of uh, appreciate them a little bit more, but we have to focus on a race here. Oh no, oh no, come on. Just they get every single item, and now they're really starting to catch up, so I need to move. Come on, let me play the game. This isn't fair. Come on, go, go, go. Get a boost here. Just a little bit more, a little bit longer. Boom, we just barely get that first place. Bowser Jr. was right behind us. Oh my goodness, that was rough. It was just, I don't know, item after item, red shell after red shell. They were so desperate to catch up to us there, so if we can just win at the squeaky clean track, we'll get a win here for the Mirror Cup. All right, squeaky, squeaky, I can never say squeaky clean sprint is really nerve wracking for some reasons, just because of all the different turns you gotta take. But I think we can do a bit better at it than we did last time, which we didn't even do bad last time. Okay, boom, got it. And this every time I'm riding through, I'm noticing all sorts of different details, like the little looper charms that were just hanging out there. I think I saw, yeah, the tiles on the wall make little 8-bit Mario clouds. So cool. Everything about this chorus is so charming. It just didn't spare any details. And that's nice. Going through here, I'm catching up in front of Bowser Jr. Seems like Bowser Jr. is our main rival now, which this isn't too surprising. I feel like Kamek and Bowser Jr. usually spend some good time together. Okay. Got the red shell, going over the toilet. Even the, even the, the, uh, what is it called? The mirror over there is mushroom shaped, so that's pretty cool. Looper is trying to block my way here, but I'm not having it. We're still making good turns. Okay, do this one. Oh man. All right, and I want to try to land on the sponge. That's been something I've been meaning to try to do. So I want to check out all the different possible routes and shortcuts and stuff, but it'd be hard to keep that in mind. That was a good turn. I am building up a little bit of a lead, but if it goes anything like the previous courses have gone so far in this cup, it hardly matters. There's a nice suitcase back there. Even the soaps had little Mario things on them. Okay, so what we want to do is get that boost and have that bring us right up here. I have not checked this area out. There's some bandages. So cool. Go over the piranha plant toothpaste above the sink this time. There we go. So, if I stay on the right side and go like right here. Here we go. We can go a lot closer to that Goomba that's chilling on the water. Okay, I'm gonna get hit by this. So I might as well, yeah, just try to prepare for it as much as I can. I got another banana. 
Oh, don't, the Boo seriously stole that from me while the red shell was hitting me. <laughs> that is not fair. I feel like they've been getting an unfair amount of items here. I'm just getting pelted with them. Okay, getting brought up there. I get a banana. We're going back through this. I actually think I might want to stay below for one reason, and that's not it. Okay, come on, going. I want to put this banana down, put the bob on back that way to make sure it explodes and hits some of them. It didn't hurt them for some reason. I guess I got past it. Oh my gosh, but we were able to get a solid one, which means we're gonna be able to win this mirror feather cup. That's great. It was not easy though. They really fought us every single second with that one. Even when we were in the lead, they were just throwing so many items to catch up with us. But we're two for three. We've gotten two cups won. We need to win one more after this. But right now we'll just see our results here. But once again, still very impressed with all of the uh, the tracks going on here. Even in mirror mode, they just help us see everything from a new angle and appreciate it a little bit more. Baby Luigi though, giving us such a hard time. All the Koopalings too. <laughs> there really is a lot more of Bowser's henchmen than it is any of Mario's friends in this one, isn't it? So there we go, we got that done. It's still technically a first place finish, probably only a one star this time. Oh, no stars at all, actually, got you. Still a golden trophy though, so I will take it and we'll move on to the next um, run through of the Feather Cup. This time, of course, will be the most difficult version because we need to do it at 200 CC. Okay, our final cup of the day will be, of course, the Feather Cap at 200 CC. We we'll blazing through the track, starting with Athens Dash. I don't know if there's any other shortcuts we can take in a track like this. We'll be looking out for them. Kind of looks so squished in that cart, which is pretty weird. It's usually Bowser can fit in it, no problem. <laughs> Oh, well, it looks like we're having some of the other new characters. I do see PD Piranha here, which we'll be checking them out next episode along with Wiggler. That'll be pretty cool. Okay, let's get through this way. I gotta be really mindful of which way we're taking turns and stuff. Oh man, because of things like this, sometimes they'll just be launched straight into the wall. I'll have to do a lot of breaking if we wanna get through this in one piece. Luckily, I have the banana there to protect me from that flying green shell, but yeah, it's gonna take this turn a little bit more simply. Ooh, that's not so simple. Okay, Lackadoo, give me a chance here. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, whoa. What even hit my green shell? I'm so confused. I had a green shell. Did I accidentally throw it? I guess so. This is a mess right now. Come on, we gotta really try to catch up. But it's still just, you know, the second lap. But this track, the second half of it really does go by fast. So I just wanna make sure we're doing everything we can. I do have a green shell. Ooh, ooh, that was pretty good actually. We're back in first with that too. So you know what? I'm gonna get that one green shell out that way. A huge turnover here. Now we're moving. Okay, we're still, we're still gliding. I keep this turn pretty out oh, tight. That did not work out very well. Here, get two items. Coin. But now I don't have too many coins at the moment. So yeah, let's try. We can take the shortcut which is nice, but just don't follow through on the shortcut very well. They're not too far behind me at the moment, so I'm just trying to be very careful here. But we did this before, just make some cool tricks like that. For whatever reason, the trick wouldn't work on that one. But it's fine, we get a first place finish here in Athens Dash. They weren't even too close behind us by the end of it, so overall pretty good. All right, Daisy Cruiser is our next one. Honestly, I'm a bit worried with how disastrous this was in mirror mode. How bad could things go at 200? Things just fall apart really quickly in this speed. So I guess we'll have to wait and see, but. Back to our normal orientation, so I do have to get used to that too. Everybody's gonna blast off. But I'm keeping up pretty well. Got it. Ooh, I almost hit that Goomba, which would not have been good. At this speed, we could just fly right off the side of the boat. I don't know if this thing has any life rafts. I would hope it would. Ooh, oh no, oh no. That was a little scary. We'll get through that pretty well, though. The turns here are pretty tight. Very difficult to manage at 200. We can definitely do it. Got it, got it, got it. All right, here comes that red shell. It's been chasing me for a moment. Ah, oh, trying to break my turn there, but it just does not quite work. Okay. Drifting this, then. Oh, 
no. Well, it is like nearly impossible to find an angle where I don't go through that way. Well, I didn't see the eel swimming around on top before though, so that's cool. Nice little detail to notice there. I'm getting all mixed up too because of the, the mirror mode. I don't think I have to turn left there. Luckily, hitting Wario with the red shell, giving us a chance to catch up. If this track was quick before, it's so fast now. Already on the third lap. I'm gonna make my way through this as much as I can. It's just, I'm trying to drift, but there are many times we just sort of fly off the, the floor. So I'm not actually on contact with the ground to properly break. Okay, come on. That just hardly feels fair, but at least they're getting hit by items too. Okay, here's our chance. We drift through this, hit the wall a bunch of times, get no item for any of that. So Bowser Jr. might beat us here. All about how we take this, and a boost through. See ya, buddy. Boom, somehow we get the win there with no item towards the end. I guess if it works, it works, right? That was a crazy one for sure. Moonview Highway does have that shortcut on the right there that I've yet to try to get to. I'm gonna try to do that this race. But there's just so many places to sort of build up some good speed on a track like this. So this is the one I'm the most excited for when it comes to 200cc. Let's give it a try. And I think yeah, you can sort of see on the minimap where that upper section is. I think it's, whoa, yeah, and I didn't go up here. Oh, I see, I think I see. I don't know, it's a little bit weird, but we sort of missed it. So at this rate, I just want to grab that coin and just move through these boosts as efficiently as we can. Of course, there's gonna be some red shells chasing us down from time to time, but honestly, they have a hard time keeping up with how fast we really move here. So we can just go up here. Oh, did I make it? I made it and then I fell off. But there's the shortcut. You can sort of see how it works up there. Wario still isn't too far behind me here. Oh, hi, bob -omb. Ooh, luckily I still sort of move forward while I hit that, so could have been worse. Okay, getting through here, wanna grab that item. Plenty more boosts to grab here. Oh, crazy turn. I made it through. But so will this red shell, come on. I don't have any items right now. Okay, come on, come on. I get hit again. But at the least I can go this way. So I didn't quite get that shortcut. You can sort of see how you could reach it, right? Come on, come on, come on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Here comes the blue shell. I don't get anything to deal with this, so I just have to move as fast as I can. Ugh. Come on, come on, come on. This is really trying to catch up to me. Of course, the everything hits me right now. I get hit with a bob -omb lightning strike and blue shell. Just a triple strike of pain there, but somehow we still have a massive lead, enough so that we can very comfortably win our third race in a row here at 200cc. That was crazy, for sure. All right, awesome. All right, squeaky clean sprint, here we go again. This one, this one honestly might be really difficult. I'm just now noticing that the alarm clock up there is I think supposed to be themed after a pair of Biddy Bud, which is so cute. There's just so many little details and just like cute little effects. Oh, and those are supposed to be like bath bombs. I get it now. There's little fizzling things that sort of create an upward sort of draft that we can boost off of. Those kind of things you put in the tub that sort of make the tub all fancy colors. Very cool. Okay, going up here. And I might be able to, ah, I was gonna see if I kind of boost my way up to that shortcut area. And now I'm off, off the road there, off the towels. <laughs> Bowser Jr. trying to catch up with me, not quite able to make it work. We're boosting off of everything now. Okay, got it right there too. Here comes a red shell. Ooh, I'm holding out my banana. That blocks it, pretty nice. Oh man, I almost fell into the depths below there. I don't think there's a way out of that. I don't think that's like an alternate path or anything, but now we can use the boost from the toilet to get up here. Oh no, oh and the red shell followed me up here too. I do have a blue shell blaster if I really, really need it. Here's hoping that I don't. Okay, got through that. I forgot the sponges again. I wanted to try to land on those at this speed, but not quite gonna work. Just trying to take this turn as well as I can. It's sort of a mess at the moment, but I'm getting through to it. 
past all the fancy soap. You'd think you'd just be able to cut over to the left from all that, but not really. Come on, come on, just a little bit more, a little bit more. I'll use the blue show blaster just in case, but there we go, we crossed the finish line for what will be our only three star cup finish. In today's episode, I was not expecting it to be the 200cc version, but that was amazing. So we did really good, let's see our results. So here are our results for the 200cc of the Feather Cup. This one was oddly enough the most successful one out of the three today, so that's pretty crazy. But it's just really fun. This is a super great wave and it has me so excited to see what's going on in the next uh, cup, which will be of course in the next episode. But for right now we get first place in all of these. We did really nice. So next time I think will be the Double Cherry or something like that, might just be the Cherry Cup. But we'll be checking that out with uh, PD Piranha and Wiggler, the other two characters added in this wave. But look at those beautiful three golden stars. That's what I like to see. So definitely let me know your favorite character out of this wave and of course the favorite course of this Feather Cup. I would love to hear all about it. But with that being said, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, the Booster Course Pass. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.